When I was younger, I could name every All Black, name how many games they'd play. I knew everything about the All Blacks kind of thing, and I think from a young age, that's all I wanted to do. Hi, my name's Wyman Redland Kappa. I play rugby um, for a living. What I do for my job is play rugby. <laughs> um, there's gym involved in that, video analysis, and also field training. So at the moment, I'm based over in Japan. I'm with the Hanazono Kintetsu Liners. Culture's a little bit different around there. Obviously, these aren't the traditional Japanese tattoos, they're the Māori ones, and people are um, quite accepting of it, and they quite like them as well. <laughs> so my career pretty much just started through high school, playing first 15 from year 11. In my last year of school, I was approached by Auckland Rugby. I had the academy contract for two years, made the New Zealand 20s side, and then signed a full contract with Auckland Rugby for a few years. A season at the Blues, and now overseas in Japan. In Japan we're in the off season, so in this part of the season we're just trying to keep fit. I think one of the tricky things about being a rugby player in the off season is you don't have a schedule, you've just got to figure out what works for you, but also be disciplined in some areas, so you've just got to find that balance. There's obviously quite a bit of pressure on us, especially people come to watch us and uh, you are under the microscope quite a bit. I think the mental toughness side is obviously a big part of it and I think the amount of um, hard work that you need to put in. I know some mornings we'd have to be in the gym at 5 o'clock, get to work at 7, finish work at 5 and then you'd be straight back on the field. If you enjoy what you do then it uh, sort of is a lot easier considering this work. Um, it's not too, not too hard to get motivated for it. Rugby is a tough sport to get security in so there's definitely job opportunities for people who finish sport and commentary, coaching, and the sponsorship side of things, and who knows what their job opportunities could be. One of my biggest achievements is just being able to be in this environment and do a job that I love every day, and then just be involved in some, some pretty cool teams and meet some pretty cool people on the way.